Alright, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Neptune camera mod, which is being made by form user Beal. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a basic camera utility, allowing you to take some pretty neat looking pictures in the game. And this is a pretty awesome mod that I've really been having a lot of fun with, but it's kind of an oddity for the channel as it's not a standalone mod as in it's not adding in a part we can just chuck onto our rocket that is a camera we take pictures with instead this is actually a utility plug-in that allows other modders to add in this camera functionality to their own parts which would be kind of awkward to show off if it wasn't for the wonderful fact that Beale has gone ahead and made one of his mods compatible with this, that being Tantaria's SP, which we looked at in the previous episode. And so I really want to look at that here today because that visible light camera part that we saw last time, now with this Neptune camera plugin installed, can actually take pictures and it is pretty cool and a very simple little thing that I really hope other modders do begin to take advantage of because it's a pretty neat little plug-in. Now we're basically back to the probe we left off on in the previous episode, the uh, Venera one here, and we have our visible light camera, which with the Neptune ca uh, camera plugin installed, you can see we've got some more things below log visible light data, as now we can actually take pictures with it and you can see here with how this one's currently set up we can capture full color images a red image green image a blue image and grayscale and each one of those will take a picture with that sort of color gradient and i'll show those different ones on the screen right now that i took earlier and it's pretty cool because it allows you say with like the red green blue you could layer those in different ways to get like a more interesting image that you're wanting to go for personally though i think i like the grayscale one the best i just like black and white photos so it's pretty darn cool but this is not all we're limited to as the camera can actually be set up by the modder to also take other kinds of images such as ultraviolet or even infrared and it's obtaining both of those again showing them on screen right now by using basically just other kinds of photo filters which uh, it, though not exactly really ultraviolet or infrared it looks pretty cool and gives that kind of effect to things to you know make it a bit more interesting as if your satellites actually doing something with its camera part rather than just logging visible light data like we normally would and what makes it even more fun and a bit more complicated is that there are a lot more options that modders can take advantage of and of course you as the player can mess around with if you're willing to go into the actual game files for the mod or rather the part file i'm going to show on screen now the uh, notepad document for the camera patch that makes the uh, neptune camera plugin function with this visible light camera and you can see that we've got the module there we've got the current camera type that i was messing around with at the time of taking this and we can also adjust things like the field of view we can actually set both the horizontal and a vertical resolution Solution, which means you know you don't have to take just a square image you could take a very rectangular one just whichever you want to go with but you can also add in things like a camera error which basically will have like uh, dropped pixels in the image and you can set the rate at, as to how much and on this image here I actually chose a uh, a very high rate of pixel error. I think I had it set to 50 when the default sort of for this mod seems to be 5. And you can also even add in 
grain noise. So you can either have a crystal clear picture like this one, or a very grainy picture like this one here. And the sort of default that was with this mod that it came with was around 25, but again, you can up that or even lower it depending on, well, say if you're just starting out with your space program and doing a more historical thing, that'll probably be some grainier pictures up front, but once you get more into the crazy interstellar probes, well, then, you know, maybe they're crystal clear images, and you can adjust those yourself. Now, of course, again, the intent is for these to be additions to existing parts that other modders will add in, but still, yes, you as the player can mess around with them. So yeah, overall, kind of an odd one to be showing off here because it's not a built-in thing that we can just slap a camera onto our own ships, but I do love this plugin. I really love that it's a part of this Tantarius SP mod because I really enjoyed this one and will be playing around with it a lot in the future in my own personal playthroughs of the game. And I really do hope more modders take advantage of this now that it's out because I've seen so many camera parts added in the past or telescopes and things like that that well, didn't actually take a picture. And now with this plugin, they can. And there's full instructions on the mod page for how to add it to the parts. And even though I've never made any mods in this game, it doesn't seem that complicated to add this functionality if you are a modder. So hopefully we do start seeing that more. And I just love this thing. I can't wait to play around with it more and take some cool pictures all around the solar system. And, uh, oh, also should mention, probably should have mentioned it earlier, the uh, shots do get saved into the screenshot folder in the main Kerbal Space Program folder, so they're easy to find and they're not going some odd other place. But yeah, that is really all there is to go over with this thing. It's just a fun little camera plug-in that I'm really hoping we see more of. But hopefully you have liked this odd little video here today and you do come back for the next win. Hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod. But until then, my friends, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.